Hey, I'm Bob. Been totally blind since birth, and I'm into Star Wars. Remember to share, like, subscribe, notification button, all that YouTube stuff. So, we're continuing a holiday theme on my channel, and we're going to be taking a look at another unopened Star Wars item. So, I received this in 2011. Mom and I, we live in different states, and we we send each other Christmas gifts every year, and she knew I didn't have an X-Wing fighter yet. I mean, I used to have one when I was a kid, but uh, she was in a Toys R Us, and she called me on her cell, all excited. And uh, then she sends this for uh, Christmas of 2011, I believe it was. Let me try to turn this thing a little to the right. I'm told there's a bit of a glare if I have it facing the the camera head on. So maybe maybe about right there. So this is the that Star Trench Run Battle Pack. You get an X-wing, you get Darth's Tie Fighter, you get Luke, Darth, and R2. So this X-wing has a firing proton torpedo. It has a storage compartment, storage compartment, sorry for the Star Trek reference, uh, in the belly of the X-Wing, so you can stash Luke's gear, and a removable dashboard, or control panel, I should say, in the cockpit, got a targeting computer, landing gear too, I think, and of course you have your, uh, S foils you can lock into attack position and then close again. So I had a Power of the Force 2 X-Wing. Didn't have much. Had some lights and sounds, but uh, that was about it. No proton torpedo or anything. It was a it was a smaller X-Wing. I think this one might be a bit bigger. I do remember seeing one in 1998 and it had a little uh, Luke Skywalker upper torso permanently affixed into the cockpit. You could pull these little levers on the back of the fighter and it had uh, lights and sounds ripped directly from A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Had a firing proton torpedo too. I think uh, the one I got was broken or something so we had to take it back. I never could find another one. So this thing, I mean, it's, it's certainly uh, certainly an X-Wing that I'm going to be hanging on to. I think they've used this mold uh, after the uh, 2011 release. I know we've seen more X-Wings in the Vintage Collection. This one was from the Shadow of the Dark Side collection, I believe, that that line of vehicles and things. But we've seen an X-Wing for Luke in the Vintage Collection. We've seen one for Poe, Antoc Merrick, and Rogue One. I'm thinking it's probably the the same mold from this 2011 release. I'm not sure. I'll try to show this one more time. And I hear this Darth Vader that we get. He's actually from Empire Strikes Back. He doesn't have the look from A New Hope, whatever that means. I had no idea if Vader looked different. I don't know if it's the lenses on his mask or uh, maybe he's not wearing the little waist cloak beneath his actual cape. Let me try to center this thing a wee bit. I don't have it centered already. I'm sorry about the glare. Eh. I'm trying to turn it to the right here. Yeah, about right there, I guess. So yeah, we get another Darth Vader Sci Fighter in here. The same mold from Power of the Force 2. I am definitely looking forward to getting that X-Wing out of the package. Not only need one X-Wing, I mean it's got all the uh, schematic accurate features that you could want in an X-Wing. I would have loved some lights and sounds, but that's nah, no big deal. Not really. Anywho, I guess that'll do for this unopened Star Wars vehicle video one of these days i'll get that x-wing out and we'll take a proper look at it
And if anyone knows what uh, what New Hope Vader looks like compared to Empire Strikes Back Vader, let me know in the comment section below. I don't know what the heck that means. Different lenses on the mask. Who the heck knows? I'm sure you guys do. Anywho, that'll do, and I will hear you guys in the next Star Wars related video. May the Force be with you. Have a great day, and uh, stay on target.